Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. And today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. I was thinking about continuing challenger difficulty, but I want to take a little bit of a break from it because it's kind of repetitive. So I decided to add something new. Now, I'm not sure if other people have already done it, which they, they, there probably is a, a person who already done this before. Because let's be honest, the update for Kingdom of Shire just came up a while ago and everybody knows about it. But I decided to make a nice quick review of uh, the new tower, which is the Shaolin Temple. Expand your senses. Alright, we're gonna expand our senses to infinity. So, let's see what this tower does. First of all, there's the nice little description right here, so let's check it out. Highly trained in martial arts and the secrets of meditation, the monks of this temple have transferred to use their skills for all eternity. Seems a little depressing. I mean, for all eternity, that's uh, a little boring, but alright. I guess if you have, like, some super duper cool skills, I don't know. So as you can see, the damage is meh, the attack speed is alright, pretty good, and the range is mediocre. So, yeah, we have a description of these abilities, but uh, they don't really give you accurate representation of what they actually do, so... We're gonna jump into a game and give you a nice quick uh, explanation as to how this tower works and how you should use it. I'm gonna be using Jack o Lantern because why not? Also, there's the new dragon, but I think I'm gonna do a review on him uh, the next week, so stay tuned if you wanna see it. Or you can just watch Vaduk review him, which, you know, he already did, but I don't know. Maybe you want me to review him, who knows. So yeah, let's check out the new tower up in here. First things first, the cost. 110. Already looking pretty alright, you know, nothing too expensive, nothing too fancy. Also, let's move Jack. But as you can see, the radius is... Uh, meh. Shmish, shmish, meh. It's about the same radius as the Melting Furnace, I would say. I think they have pretty much the same range. So yeah, 110 gold, and it's gonna do 2 to 4 damage with an average attack rate. Then, once you level it up, 5 to 9 damage. So the damage gets increased even further. Then the damage gets increased again from 9 to 17, which is a pretty significant increase. But then, at tier 4... The Shaolin Temple at tier 4, that's where the magic starts to happen. As you can see, the range still and the attack rate are the same throughout any point of the um, tower. So it doesn't matter if it's a tier 1 or tier 4, it's going to have the same attack speed and the same radius. But the damage gets increased by quite a bit. So, before we upgrade it, uh, let's see what this tower actually does. Because uh, it has a pretty unique mechanic. As you can see, it's... Um, it, no units are coming out, so what's going on? Is the tower bugged? Nope. Look at that. Whenever a unit walks in radius, a monk, a monk spawns in and he attacks him. And you can do this up to three times. As you can see, we have three units in range and all three of them are getting attacked and briefly stalled. Which is nice. And as you can see, it's holding itself pretty well so far. But now what, what, what are the up upgrades for the tower? What do they do? Well, let's explain them. The first one is the Dragon Warrior, which summons an elite Shaolin monk to the path. So you get uh, this uh, big uh, chunk wannabe, and this guy is pretty solid. 520 health, 40 to 60 damage. I'm not sure what his attack rate is. I've tried to Google it up and tried to look at it, like from multiple footages, but I think it's somewhere around one second. It's, he has something like a one second attack rate or so. So, in, in theory, his damage is about 50 per second, which is pretty darn good. And even though he has no armor, 520 health is quite a decent amount. The sad thing is that you only have, like, one um, one of them. You can get multiples. It would have been nice if you could, though. Imagine getting, like, multiple of these chunksters. That would have been awesome. But still, one of them is good enough. Now for the next upgrade, uh, Lion, of, uh, um, um, uh, Lion of Abundance. Enemies that die close to the tower give 10% extra gold. Now that is massively good. And it's only tier 1 upgrade. Like, you don't have to max it out. It's just tier 1 upgrade. You buy it and it works for the rest of the game. So as you can see, whenever something dies, it's pretty hard to notice. Because, you know, quite a few enemies are dying every now and then. But if you pay close attention, you can notice that we're getting more gold from this. Which is really good. But there's also one thing that some people don't know about this tower. This ability right here is stackable. So, if you have like multiple of these guys and you kill enemies in... Uh, let, me, let me put it like this. Let's get another one of these guys with this. 
You see how uh, there's a nice range, uh, like, um, le let me check, like, like this area right here. This is where these two towers uh, range uh, in interfere, which means that if something dies right here, this, w this uh, line of abundance is going to trigger as well as this one. So you're basically getting 20% more gold instead of 10. So on some maps, you can get a lot of extra gold from this upgrade alone. You just have to make a very specific choke point. And as long as you're able to hold it, you're gonna be able to get some uh, get a lot of efficiency out of it. Really good tower. Now for the last upgrade of a uh, set tower, the Shallon monks. So basically, it increases the amount amount of monks to four, then five, and last but not the least, they also I believe get increased to six. Let's kill some stuff so we can get the update fast faster. Yep, six. So basically, it just gives you more uh, monks to stall more enemies, and you can basically double it for, uh, uh, I would say, quite a hefty cost. Almost 300 gold per upgrade, that's like... Like, we're talking about almost 900 gold right here, which is quite a lot. So yeah, I would, I would, I would usually not max out this upgrade, usually I just like maxing out this and this. And if you need more stalling power, why not get barracks or uh, just one of, another one of these guys. And yeah, as you can see, the, these, this tower is holding its ground. Surprisingly well. It has no issues whatsoever. But uh, there is actually one issue. It doesn't target flying enemies. Yeah, flying enemies are a little bit of a problem for this tower. So, besides flying enemies, this tower is actually pretty darn good. Now, 14 to 26 physical damage is not a lot, so keep that in mind. You may run into some issues where um, you're, not, you're not gonna have enough uh, damage, so... Combining this tower with, like, a mage or uh, another artillery is gonna be pretty nice. But but other than that, I think it's pretty fun. I would say this tower is a, has a very unique design and it's just pretty cool. I'm not gonna say that it's overpowered though by any means, even though only two of these guys are holding their ground very well. Keep in mind this is Udo's farmlands, which is the easiest level in the game. I mean, you can pretty much beat it with just Ice Cold alone, which is really saying something about how difficult quote unquote this level is. So yeah, it's a pretty good tower. I would say I'll I'll give it something like seven out of ten. Pretty good. Nothing too nothing too broken about it. Maybe the line of abundance is a little bit too good, but hey, the at least the tower has a short range, so you will not be able to uh, to st to stack up like three or four of these guys that easily. On some maps you may be able to do it, but on this map uh, I would say maybe you can stack like ah uh, let me just check right here. Um, maybe something like 4 or 5, maybe even 6 if you get like this choke point. But the thing is that for the most part enemies are gonna be right around here. So at most you're gonna get two of these guys. So yeah, it's a pretty good tower. Now is it worth the buying? Is it worth the money? I don't know. If you're looking for like a really good tower, something that can absolutely shred and is gonna give you an easy time, I don't think this tower is, is for you. If you're looking for a more uh, fun and unique tower in terms of design and functionality, this this tower is definitely the one for you. But if you're looking for something really strong, just buy a Blazing Gem or um, what was it called? Uh, War Zeppelin. This tower is not like OP by any means. It's just uh, it's just unique. I really like it because of its uniqueness. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Kind of a short video, but uh, there's nothing too much to explain about here. So yeah. Well, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. Oh my god. Well, that's, well, that's stupid. Apparently these guys can attack flying enemies. Why did I thought they cannot? Oh my god, I'm stupid. You know what? I got a video. I got an idea for a video. <laughs> what if we try to beat the entire Kingdom Hearts Vengeance with just this tower alone? You know what? That's what I'm doing next week. Screw the dragon. He's boring, guys. Trust me, he's boring. You're not gonna, you're not wanting to see how bad, the, 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 whatever his name, the, the Chinese rip of dragon is. We're doing a, we're doing a challenge next week. Screw it. I just discovered that. I'm sorry. I haven't played with this tower a lot. Like I, pl I had like one game with this tower before the review, just so I can get a feeling about it. So yeah. Well, uh, oh well. Mistakes happen. At least now I at least I corrected myself. So this tower actually attacks flying enemies. In this case, I'll improve its rating to 7.5 out of 10. In this case, so yeah, pretty good tower. 
The only thing that I think it's gonna, this tower is really gonna struggle with though is definitely heavy armored enemies. But everything else should deal with it pretty efficiently. And yeah, well, I guess that's all for the video guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future, and while you're at it, drop a like on the video, it means a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy, over and out.